Hello everyone and welcome back to another mail day video. This first package I had to sign for so I know what's in it, but it's a good one to get started for the video. So first here we have a 1953 Topps Willie Mays PSA 1. Not in the best condition, but it is a 1953 Topps Willie Mays, and you can never go wrong having one of those in your collection. And the second card in the lot was a 1954 Topps Willie Mays. It's a PSA 1 also. Not in the best condition, but it's got pretty good eye appeal. That's a good way to start today's video off. Let's see what we have next. It never ceases to amaze me the different ways that people send packages. All right, I've been waiting for this one here. numbered out of 10 man it is number I can't see if I can see that on the video number there we go number one of 10 this is the 2021 tops rookie cup I've been trying to put this rainbow together and this is one I needed happy to get this one in the day Another eBay standard envelope. You guys know by now that I'm a big fan of the standard envelope program. It saves on shipping cost. Allows buyers to buy cheap cards at a reasonable price without having to pay four or five dollars shipping. Or in this case, holograms. I started purchasing some of these old upper deck holograms. This should be a lot of just Cubs holograms. I want to start making some custom Andre Dawson cards. Uh, cutting out the background of the card and sandwiching it in with some of these holograms. I've seen some other people do it very successfully and they look very nice. So I ordered a bunch of Cubs, Red Sox, and some Expos holograms. And our next package, <laughs> our next package is more holograms. Here's a lot. I don't know if these are all Expos or not. Yeah, you can see these here. These are all Expos holograms. So this will be a new venture for me, but it's something that I want to do because the cards look very nice. I love adding new cards to my Dawson collection. This will be a good, fairly cheap way to add some new, very good looking cards to the collection. Next, looks like we got a lot of some sort. Let's see what we got here. Looks like a Bryce Harper lot. Fifty Bryce Harpers. Probably nothing spectacular in there, but. If I can pick up some Bryce Harpers at a decent price, I'm always looking to pick him up. So nice to get in a lot right there. I know Bowman Platinum isn't highly collected, but I think they always have great looking cards, Bowman Platinum. And next. 
Got a Babe Ruth Gaming's back card. This was the 2004 Leaf Limited, but this one doesn't have a serial number. This would have been released probably during their bankruptcy. Did they go bankrupt? When they went out of business or went bankrupt, all the stuff that they had left in the back, this would have been most likely, this is what this is, came from. Take the tape off here so you can see the beauty of this card. And you see that is the matching numbers. That's 2004 Leaf Limited. It's Andre Dawson and Chipper Jones. So Dawson wore number 10 when he was with the Expos and the Red Sox. And Chipper Jones, of course, wore number 10 with the Braves. These are serial numbered. This one's 22 of 100. It's always a nice card to pick up when you can get it. And not many packages today. Got two more. Let's see what else we got today. Oh, that's never a good sign. It's a seller who doesn't know how to properly send cards through the mail. And it's a Tom Brady lot just sandwiched between two pieces of cardboard. I have to go back and check these, see if there's any damage to them. Might need to contact the seller on eBay. Yeah, and that one's numbered right there. And you can see the corners on that one. Not good, not good. And one more for today. Got a lot here. Let's see who this is. Derek Jeter. Got a Derek Jeter lot. Always trying to pick up a Derek Jeter lot when you can. So some nice Derek Jeter cards in there. Add those to the collection. But for anybody watching the video and the shipping cards, do not ship cards like these arrived, just sandwiched between two pieces of cardboard. You need to make sure that the cards you're sending are protected, preferably penny sleeved in a team bag and taped up and then sandwiched in cardboard, but with no protection on these cards, these cards as you can see, we're damaged while in shipping. Well, that's all for today. Until the next video, I hope everybody has a good card collecting day.